Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and this time a quick little mod one of my favorite systems from back in the day, the good old VIC-20 great old machine this one of the very first 8-bits that I ever got to experience back at my cousin's place um, I remember messing around on this uh, and it was a fantastic machine from back in the day, why? it had a proper keyboard and everything else now one of the issues nowadays is uh, connecting these machines up to a modern TV and uh, I just want to show you here here's one of the uh, RF modular, modular uh, units that is used to connect this up to an old TV and uh, what I want to do today is actually reuse this DIN socket you can see there it's got a 5 pin DIN socket okay so that goes into the you can see there into the video and then from there you would normally just attach the antenna to your TV and tune it in far too much hassle I don't want to have to go do that so I'm going to reuse this socket over here connect it up, wire it up to a RCA cables and uh, a lot easier to connect these to a more modern TV um, than having to go and tune this in over there so first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to desolder the DIN socket from here, so I'm going to take it loose, it's quite easy, it just pops off over here and uh, desolder it and then we'll wire it up with the RCA cables okay so I've got and I've removed the DIN socket, you can see there I've taken it apart here's the 5 pin DIN socket here, I've desoldered the wiring that was on there I've got enough to cut off the uh, one end of the RCA cables and now I'm ready to actually do the soldering so if you have a look at the schematics that you can find on the net uh, this is the audio pin, so I'm going to connect audio here a video to that pin over there and ground to that pin over there those are the three pins that you're going to be using so if I have a look here that's going to be my ground which I'm going to solder then to that pin over there and then I'm going to use one of these for the audio one of these for the video and uh, that should be it, so let me get soldering as usual my soldering is not the neatest so I've gone and I've soldered the ground and I've gone and I've soldered my audio and my video audio and video on there and uh, yeah time to test before I put it all back together time to test and uh, already I see I've made a mistake <laughs> I didn't put this on ah I do this to myself every time okay so I'm gonna have to either desolder that yeah, I'm gonna have to desolder that in order to fit this on first so that this can, can slide back up again hey okay let me do that try not to make that same mistake guys time for the big test guys you can see I've gone and connected the cable in there I've taken it through I've connected it up got my CRT out I prefer using a CRT with these old machines Let's switch on and there we are right on Fort Knox okay press F1 and we have sound this is a great little game so success guys there's my new four, uh, five pin DIN socket for my VIC-20 and uh, it works fine so always great to be able to reuse some of the old equipment and uh, modify them slightly so very simple little mod and uh, anybody can do this mod and uh, yeah give it a try guys if you want to get your VIC-20 up and running and use it with a new a newer CRT or even I haven't tried it on the on my flat screen LCD maybe I'll give that a a bash but otherwise yeah give it a try so guys cheers from me and remember keep it retro